What do we have here? Looks like a lieutenant wasn't paying attention, and some Gorefast clocked him upside the head. Report says head trauma while on cleanup duty in sector two. Management says give him the full treatment. That will hurt, poor bastard. Prep the rig. Report says they've got an implant, so we don't need the rig. Nice. Not sure why a meathead like this has a neural implant. Let's bring up their last memory and see what went wrong. All right, booting up now. Getting interference from the implant. It's receiving way more data than it should be. Get them back under. Now, what's going on? easy for a moment while I brief you. I'm Dr. Emma Rose, your neurological simulation supervisor. You're a member of Horsey Corporation's security forces. Thanks to a head injury you sustained in combat with some Zeds this morning, you are in surgery. You're linked into the neurological perception simulator through your neural implant, and I'll just load up the standard training level. Should be pretty easy for you with your record, Lieutenant. Your head injury, plus the anesthetic and meds, may cause memory loss, hallucinations, and blackouts. Assuming you make it through today, you should be back on your feet in a few months. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The neurological perception simulator will keep your brain active during surgery and hopefully minimize any long-term effects of your injury. I'll catch up with you once you're done with the training level. Welcome! to Horzine Corporation's Zed Containment Training Simulation. Brought to you by HM Tech Medical Weaponry. HM Tech, healing through superior firepower. Due to your severe nerve damage, we will begin with navigating the neurological perception simulation. First, turn around using the indicated input and take a look at the training facility. Well done. Begin safety warning. If you turn your body physically, you may block some of the sensors and leave the safe operating zone, causing a psychotic break as your body and mind lose coherence. End safety warning. You will navigate the simulation environment using a point-to-point -point teleport system. Press the indicated input forward and release it to teleport where you are pointing. Try teleporting a few times.
superb. Begin safety warning. Turning while teleporting does increase your risk of psychotic break to 11%. Thorazine is now responsible for resulting mental illness. If you teleport several times in quick succession, you can suffer brain damage as your mind struggles to keep up with the quick changes in location. To avoid this, your teleport range will be reduced until it recharges if you teleport multiple times quickly. End safety warning. Proceed to hell. Training station. While the simulation will not injure your physical body, you can take simulated damage. Your health display is on your right wrist. We will now simulate health damage so you can see the patented HM Tech health display in action. Pick up an HM Tech health pack by pointing at it with either hand and pressing the indicated input. If you take too much simulated damage, you will return to a previously visited safe location. Orzine is not responsible for psychological trauma due to simulated injury or death. All part of a balanced breakfast. Hell, training station now complete. Proceed to... Firearms. Training station. Horazine training simulations include a variety of firearms, such as the H1911 pistols before you. Pick up the pistols by pointing your hands at them and pressing the indicated inputs. Horazine is not responsible for delusions of proficiency with actual firearms. To discharge a firearm, press the indicated input. Try hitting the targets downrange. With our latest military-grade genetic augmentation products. To reload, press the indicated input. You can store pistols in the holsters on your sides and rifles on your back by placing the hand holding the weapon near the appropriate location and releasing the indicated input. If you drop a weapon, it will return to its holster or shoulder spot after a few seconds, assuming that location is empty. Try putting the pistols away. Draw your pistols by putting your empty hands near your holsters and grabbing the pistol. Good work. Lieutenant, firearms. Training station complete. You can continue practicing with the target range or proceed to the nose training station. If you need more ammunition, grab an ammo pack. This is a simulated Node 33 drone modeled on those used by our security forces in the field. Begin safety warning. Extended interactions with node drones can cause seizures, headaches, acne, and other side effects, so consult with your doctor before using. End safety warning. Activate node's command menu by pressing the indicated input. You can send Node to look for health packs or ammo, or ask him to help you find any important items you've missed. To do so, touch the relevant menu item with your trigger finger. Send Node to find an ammo pack. When Node goes to find items for you, he will leave a glowing trail you can follow. Once he reaches the item, he will bounce over it until you pick it up. At which point, he will disappear. Pick up the ammo pack. Lieutenant.
Good work. Lieutenant. Node. Training station now complete. Please. Return to your cubicles. The incident is under control. Please advance to the... Knife. Training station. Our simulations contain a variety of close combat weapons. Before you are two HK-5 Horzine survival knives. Available for purchase at all Horzine trader pods. Please pick up both knives. Lieutenant. Excellent. To store your knife, release the indicated input while holding the knife over your shoulder. Please remember, exposure to Zeds can cause paranoia, psychotic episodes, PTSD, diarrhea, and a feet spot. Please store your knife. Lieutenant. You can draw your knife or other weapons carried on your back by grabbing with your hand over the shoulder the weapon is stored on. Your knife will be in the same grip it was in when it was stored. Grab your knife, please. Lieutenant. Anything you can pick up in the simulation can be used as a weapon, as well as your fists. Some items, such as knives, can also be thrown. Press the indicated input to change your grip on a knife to a throwing grip. Once in a throwing grip, the knife can then be thrown just like in real life, <laughs> releasing the indicated input as you throw. Try hitting the targets downrange. Excellent. No. Training station now complete. Proceed to any other active training station. You have a flashlight on your chest. Grab it with an empty hand. To activate the flashlight, use the indicated input. Horzine is not responsible for eye damage sustained when looking directly into the flashlight. So don't do it. The flashlight also has a scanning mode. Press the indicated input when you wish to find damaged code, hidden clues, or other concealed objects. Hang on a sec, that's not supposed to be there. 
There's supposed to be a hidden Horzine logo up there, but that's virus-infected code. Weird. I'll see if I can clear it out later. There's definitely something weird going on with that simulation. If you drop the flashlight, it will instantly return to your chest. If you put your flashlight back on your chest while it is turned on, it will remain on. Return the flashlight to your chest now. Fine work. Lieutenant. You are a credit to your... Insert department or unit here. Personnel file not found. Flashlight. Training station now complete. Proceed to... Any other active. Training station. Neurological perception simulations are multi-user environments. You can't harm other users you may encounter, but if another user is reduced to zero health, you can revive them. Turn to face the center of the room. That is a Horzine Security Officer AI drone, but you can revive them like a fellow user. To revive a fellow user, you have to stand close to their simulated body as indicated by the sphere. Do so now. You must remain in the sphere and defend the other user for a short time for them to revive. Once this time is up, the other user will be up and active again. Revive. Training station now complete. Proceed to... Any other active. Training station. Okay, I'm back. Your readouts are great. Looks like you're good to get started. Just enter the portal when you're ready. Prepare for extraction in three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Uh, wait. This isn't right. This isn't the simulation I loaded. Well, it is. You're supposed to be here, just it should be in better shape, and on a sunny day. And the staging room shouldn't have a gun in it. The parameters for this simulation are set for, let's just say, extra creepy. Never mind. Head down the road and across the bridge.
See if you can get that gate open. I've set up a hacking tool to help you get through the lock. Programs just came online. Oh, for goodness sake. Looks like you hit the combat early. Sorry, Lieutenant. There's a knife and some ammo in the middle of the trailer park. Grab them and take out the Zeds. system glitches are getting really annoying. It looks like the way forward is blocked by that wooden gate. Sorry, Lieutenant. Can you find some way to get the gate open?
Wait, seriously? More Zeds? You have to keep them busy while the gate opens. Some glitch or a level design rebuilding this place. Some sort of virus has infiltrated our system. I don't know how. It's a closed system. The boss isn't going to like this. The simulation is not obeying my reboot commands. It's not good. We need to get you out of here. Follow the road and turn right at the mailbox. The extraction point is that way, eventually. To the virus, this simulation is going to crash soon and take you with it if we don't get you out of here. We need to get you to the extraction portal, but we need you to get some data on the way out. Don't worry, it will require a lot of shooting and stabbing. Nothing too technical. Range your strengths here.
more bad news, Lieutenant. There seems to be my job today, bearer of bad news. Remember that thing about damage here not being real? Yeah, not so much. If you die in here, your body will suffer feedback through your neural connection. It won't kill you the first time, but just don't die too much, or at all. I'm sorry I loaded you up into the simulation. I'll see if I can do anything to get the safety protocols back up on my end. In the meantime, keep moving. The extraction point is down that dark and creepy side road, because of course it is. Some code in that house has gotten corrupted. We need to clean it out. Otherwise, this place is going to crash sooner rather than later. Oh, hang on a sec. Great. More Zeds coming your way. Lieutenant, see about hacking the lock on that door. Great work. Your training really paid off. We need to find the corrupted code fragments in this house. They're doing serious damage to simulation stability. The scanner on your flashlight should do the trick. Search around the house and look for anything out of the ordinary. I'll open a deletion portal. Just place the corrupted code into the portal to destroy it. around for the virus it could be on a shelf on the floor but it's somewhere in the house remember use the scanner mode on your flashlight I know there are Zeds around, but you have to keep looking. Focus. We can't move on until you find these pieces of corrupted code.
Keep looking. Remember, scanning mode. We won't be able to get the data from this level if you don't clean out this corrupted code.